Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Gold Rush. And if you haven't seen the last video, go back before you even continue on with this episode. Go back because mistakes have been definitely made very badly because the excavator decided that it wanted to go in the hole. And because of that, we had to uh, fix that. So, because that happened, and we're not necessarily doing fantastic. Oh, we need to shut off the other one, too. There we go. Bill. So now that that is, you know, there's a giant hole here in the excavator. Try to fall into. So this is where the good gold is. Where we are, it's not. Uh, like, if you go over here in the gold map, we're, like, right in here. Okay, I mean, if we toggle that square, that's right there, and we're right here, and we are, if we go back to the gold map, we're probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven squares from the good gold, but I've been thinking if we can dig this out, then we could start that pit again, you know, but we're going to have to probably do a giant circle so that we can get the uh, excavator out of the way and enough room for the front loader. So because of that, it's going to be a bit. Uh, but with that being said, we are at one-third, so 33% of the wash plant full. And because we didn't fill it up last time, I feel like uh, we need to do that now. Now, we could also get the, what is it, you know, the, the two pieces of equipment that we had before, but... I don't know. I mean, that that would move it back a lot more, and we could reach out there. But if we wanted to start a pit, we got to start now. So while we're sitting here doing that, I mean, the only good thing that uh, came from, uh, you know, the whole forklift or the excavator into the whole thing is that I had to restore it. And because we restored it, we got to... Uh, fill it up so we got a full tank of fuel you know like i said it was all planned out in the end i mean that's at least what i'm gonna say even though it literally wasn't but oh well you guys have to trust me that it was all planned out and everything else but other than that we are back out here on gold rush to hopefully find some gold like i said we're definitely not on the best of gold but because we are here, we might as well make the best of it. We have 131 ounces in the gold box or our pocket, whatever you want to call it. We are going to have to, you know, smelt some gold once we get, you know, into town. So probably after this one, uh, because we need some money. It is only 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, well, in game, it's definitely not 11 o'clock in the morning in real life. Today is actually Tuesday, and um, the 15th? Is it 15th Tuesday? I don't know. I'm going to have to look at my phone. Here, let's see. Where is my phone? My phone is over here. It is June 15th at 2.47 p.m. So, it's, you know, late. But this episode, you know, I may be recording it on the 15th, but it's actually going up next week. So, I, you know, I uh, I got done recording everything and e uploading and editing, and I'm like, you know what, let's just get a jump start on, uh, you know, next week's deal. And so, uh, that's what I'm doing. So, because of that, this is old past content, but, uh, you know, it's it's just gives me more time for uh, other things, you know. Uh, spend more time with my, my gal or, you know, make better... Even, maybe even more more videos, you know. Maybe I'll throw it up on uh, on Saturday or something. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, whenever it goes up, you'll definitely find out. Because I'll probably be talking about how, you know, this is supposed to go up. But then it didn't. Who knows? But like I said, we, we got a lot of digging to do. So we just need to get going. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, chicken bean? Uh, but yeah, so I got open country. That has been up. I posted two videos, uh, Wednesday and Friday, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying that. It's it's weird. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It, it is definitely a weirder arcade simulation game. It's not exactly what I thought it would be, honestly. 
well, hopefully you guys enjoy that, you know. And, uh, you know, I, like you saw, I did get some maps for ATS. I got Idaho, Colorado, and Utah. So that'll be some more uh, more content for y'all to see. And what else did I get? That that was it. You know, I was thinking about getting SnowRunner. I really was. I mean, I, I really, really was. But uh, before I did that, I wanted to see how Open Country did. If Open Country does good, then we may or may not get it. If Open Country doesn't do good, we'll probably get it. Uh, but that doesn't mean don't watch the video. You know what I mean? Uh, if, if the first video, which is already going to be up before this video even goes up, if it does well, well, then we're going to be we're going to be playing some open country for a while. Uh, you know, not saying that we can't do Snow Runner, uh, but you know, just there's some things. Um, but other than that, not a whole lot's been been changing. You know, like I said, it's it's, it's my still my day off, and uh, you know, we just been. We went shopping yesterday, ate dinner at my brother's house, got attacked by his bear, which is his dog. Um, well, this dog, he thinks he's like a chihuahua, okay? He thinks that he's nice, soft, and cuddly, when in real life he's like 400 pounds of pure muscle, or at least seems like it. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. It really is. So that was 100%, and that's 42. So every 100% you get... Every 100% you get 10%. So, there we go. Let's be filling up. So, we have quite a bit to go. You know, not going to lie. Anyway, on my pup, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's still a debate. Uh, my gal took him to the vet on Saturday, uh, which was, you know, a few days ago now. Uh, when you watch this video, it was like last week. Uh, but he's doing all right. His blood platelets and blood cells and everything else is doing all right. He's on uh, pregnizone, I think is what it's called. So it's a steroid. And so he's doing all right. Uh, I did get a comment, you know, to pet the pup for you. I can't remember who exactly said it. And it was like a few weeks ago. And I actually did do it, you know. And uh, I think he don't understand what the hell I'm talking about when I said that, you know, a subscriber told me to... Uh, Pet, pet you for him and so I did anyway and uh, you know he loves pets he really does and if uh, you quit petting him then he, he tries to nose you to death and, and nuzzle, you, nuzzle you so on and so forth and uh, you know it's fine it, he's a dog right that, that's what they do but other than that I mean he's he's fine do, do I necessarily want him not necessarily I mean but I guess he's growing on me. I mean, I, I guess that's the best I can say. But uh, my gal absolutely loves him. Uh, he is a smart dog, let me tell you. He's very uh, hot dog forward. So, like, you know, if you got a hot dog, he'll do anything you want him to do. If you get him a dog treat, he won't do shit. <laughs> it's just super easy, super funny. So, we, you know, we went to uh, went to town and, and, and bought, like, four 28 packs of hot dogs. You know, everybody's looking at me like, good Lord, you know we gonna do with so many hot dogs and it's like it's not for me it's for my dog and everybody was like oh you feed your dog hot dogs and it's like well it's the only thing that he'll actually do anything with but uh but yeah he, he's gaining some weight he's right between 44 and 46 pounds you know he's been bouncing a little bit so with that being said he is gaining a little bit of weight uh you know i would like to put about five more pounds on him just you know just to be safe and then after that you know just keep him as is and, uh, but, you know, other than that, he, he's doing fine. Uh, my gal's doing fine. She's just been working her way. And, uh, you know, she really enjoyed our camping trip that we had last week, even though, when, like I said, when this comes out, it was about two weeks ago. And, uh, yeah, now she's planning on, she said that we're going on a trip. My, my, my parents and my family, they want to go down to Shasta next year. And they want to get the biggest houseboat with TVs and so on and so forth. And it's like, okay, well, whatever. And then my gal was like, hell no, we ain't going. Be well, uh, like, to, to give you a full perspective, when my family gets together, I mean, we're not necessarily redneck, but we're not city people. Okay, we're like kind of in between. So when you get us people out of my town 
and we go to the city of Reading, okay? I mean, Reading's a pretty big city. I mean, it's about the first big city you get when you hit California on I-5 there. Well, when you see these people, which is my family, show up to this lake, and everybody, you know, like, there's rich people up there. You know, they got, like, $100,000 ski boats and everything else. Hell, we... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't have that. And, you know, it, it's just like, it's a screaming match, you know. And if someone pisses somebody off, oh, trust me, the whole damn country knows that someone's pissed off. Because why? Because we just start screaming and we don't stop until everybody gets the point that we're not happy. So with that being said, what? What's already full? Gee whiz, we just started. Anyway. With that being said, I know I'm getting there, you bloody bastard. Thank you. So with that being said, you know, it, it's, it's just, it's a very hard process to get everybody happy on said boat. Now, you have 11 people, or at least I think it's 11 people. I got my grandparents, uh, my mom and dad, my sister, me and my gal, and my brother and his wife, and then the baby. So that's 10 people that we have to put on this little, little bitty boat, okay? Which is fine, okay? And like I said, it wouldn't be bad if we actually wanted to be on a boat with people. But my family isn't necessarily the family type, okay? And what I mean, what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that my family... Um... Hmm. What, 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 what do I mean by that? My family is, is... We're a family, but the least we have to do with each other, the better. I mean, that's just the way it's been, the way it always is, and the way it always will be. I mean, it, I don't understand. You know, like, if someone, you know, falls down and breaks a hip or whatever, you know, we'll all be there. Kind of. But, like, other, like having a vacation and stuff like that... We, not necessarily the greatest people you want to be hanging out with. It just, it never has been. But with that being said, <clears throat> so when you get stuck on a boat, and you can't really move, and it's hotter than hell, that was absolutely terrible. You know, and, and it's hotter than hell and, and everything else, and, there, and there's nowhere to get away from people. And like I said, getting away from people that you don't necessarily want to be with in the first place. That's when shit hits the fan, okay? Like, everybody, you know, the best thing I can say is, like, you know, the Kardashians or whatever the fuck, you know, everybody yells and screams. It's like a reality show. So, like, if you type in TLC and you watch any reality show and how they're all lovey-dovey, yeah, our, our family is, like, a bajillion times backwards from that. And so my gal, she don't want to go. And so my, so the long story short to all this is my brother wants the giant boat with like the four state rooms and all this other bullshit, TVs, so on and so forth. It's like five grand, okay? Now, like I said, we're not rich in the slightest, okay? Like we're not broke, but we're not rich either. And so, you know, this houseboat's gonna cost like five grand, and then, you know, everybody chips in, and so on and so forth. It, it's gonna be about two grand a person, or two grand a family. Well, there's four families, okay? <sighs> anyway, long story short, my, my wife, or my gal, whatever, she's a fiance. If you, if you guys are new, she's my fiance. I don't know what to call her, because of, in October, I'll be with her for five years. Five years. And, and and this lady and I, this chick, lady, whatever, my gal, we've been in the semi for two years together with absolutely, well, good Lord, it's already full. Okay, hold on. Let's turn this off. So, like I said, my, my gal and I have been basically through the fucking ringer, okay? Like, we been cross-country all over the place. And... Somehow she still put up with me. I, I don't know how she has after all these years, you know. And, and it hasn't been that long. I mean, it's been five years. Come on, give me a break. But it's, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Here, let's turn on some light so we can see something. I can't remember where, what, whose is what. So I just like to come down here and take off these. 
But anyway, long story short, so she didn't want to go. And so her bright, intimate wisdom is that she's like, oh, well, you know what we need to do? And I'm like, what? And she's like, we're going to Montana or Hawaii, one or the other. And I was like, fine, that's cool, whatever. I said, I don't know how we're going to pay for it, but that's cool, you know. Like, I'll, I'll go to Hawaii. And then I said, who's going with us? And she said, nobody but us. And I said, that's cool, too. I said, who's going to pay the bill? <laughs> and that's when she's like, oh, well, we are. We're going to start saving up now so we can go to Montana. Now, there's some backstory to that, too, because Montana just happens to be, well, it's not necessarily Montana, either. Montana uh, and, you know, like, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Like, that stretch between there on I-90 there is absolutely gorgeous, especially in the wintertime, except I don't like driving up there in the wintertime because it snows like a bitch up there, okay? But beyond the point, besides the point, oh, nope, 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 I don't want to start up the whole thing. Where is, there we go. And I think I want to do uh, these two. But besides the point, so, you know, Mike, this is my gal, you know, she's like, I don't want to go on a houseboat with your family, but what I want to do is I want to take you, which means you drive everywhere, to Montana or Hawaii. And I, I was like, okay, cool. You know, I love Montana, too. You know, I, I drove across Montana many a time in the semi. But be, just because we drove across Montana doesn't mean we got to explore Montana. So with that being said, um, you know, it, it's cool to go out there and, and see what we can find, you know, uh, especially like Yellowstone. We actually got to drive through the western side of Yellowstone down Yellowstone um, out of Bozeman to Idaho Falls, uh, which is 191, I do believe. Highway 191. It was definitely not the best road I've ever drove on. But it was absolutely gorgeous. You know, we saw elk and deer and everything else. We basically saw everything except a bison or a buffalo, whatever. And that is the one thing that she has always wanted to see is a buffalo. One buffalo. A wild buffalo. And, uh, you know, it's really hard to see wild buffaloes because, well, there's not many around anymore. Most of them is like on a hunting reserve, or a reserve anyway, and then if they're not on a reserve, if they're not on a reserve, then they're, um, you know, they're farmed, so, you know, one way or another, it, it's hard to see these animals, but that's what she wants to go see, and I was like, cool, whatever, and then I told her, I was like, you know what I want to do, and she's like, what, and I said, what I want to do is I want to go to Hawaii. Why Hawaii, you might ask? And I said, I have no idea. Because if you think I don't fit in Redding, California, I really don't fit in Hawaii. Because I'm probably the whitest motherfucker you've ever seen in your life. And, uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's just funny, okay? You know, like, I'll tan eventually. My brother loves when I say this story. But we went swimming for three hours one day down there at the boat ramp uh, at the river. And we we went out for like three hours, you know, nothing nothing major, two and a half three hours. Well, it was like ninety four degrees or something like that, you know, which is kind of hot. I mean, everybody can agree that's kind of hot, ninety four degrees. Now, if you're from like Arizona or some shit, I don't want to hear from you. You decided that you wanted to live in Arizona, okay? Texas, everything else, that's hotter than hell. You know, I went to Phoenix, Arizona one time, and the coldest it got, I swear to God, was one hundred and fifteen. And I said, I don't know how people live here. I said, it's hotter than hell. I said, take me back to Oregon. And, you know, the hottest it ever gets here is like maybe 105. And if it gets that hot, it's like once or twice. Maybe a week straight. That's it. You know, like n nothing major. So if y'all bitch and moan about your heat, y'all live there for a reason. Anyway, besides the point. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's like... But, like, after, after I, uh, you know, we, we got, we both got sunburned. My, my, uh, my brother's buddy, uh, he got burnt 
as well, you know, and he had it for like a week or something. But for some reason, I don't really know. I feel like my family has, you know, like native in us or something because for some reason, when I sunburn, I'll lose it in two days and just immediately tan. I don't know if it is because of the native or whatever or if it's just the pigment of the skin or what have you. You know, I'm not making any claims. I want to take that ancestry quiz or test or whatever and then, you know, see exactly what we are. But it's like 200 bucks. Uh, but anyway, other than that, you know, I, I thought it was super funny. Because my brother, okay, he, he's, you know, came from the same people as I did. And uh, he got a sunburn, and he had it for, I think he said, two and a half weeks. And this dude, he he was burnt head to toe, you know. It, it, it was really funny for me, you know, because I was like, oh, well, you know, you're blubbering like a fucking whale, and I'm fine. But uh, anyway, long story short... No, land in there, you stupid. But long story short, you know, he, uh, we figured out that, uh, you know, he didn't like swimming anymore. Uh, especially, you know, without sun sunscreen or anything. I never wear sunscreen. Never have. Never, probably never will. Even though my gal flips the fuck out if I don't. But anyway, besides the point. So after that, he was, you know, like scared of the sun. But anyway... Uh, with all that being said, I, you know, I kind of went on a wild tangent there. But, uh, you know, so I suntan. Well, there's parts of me that has never seen the sun. Okay. Like, I always wear a shirt because I know better. Right? So my belly, my back, you know, my chest and all that shit, it don't see the sun, if at all. Because I know better. Well, both times we went down to Shasta... I didn't wear no shirt, and this is where I learned to wear a shirt, because I turned as red as that fucking duplex jig, and I didn't move very fast, because, like, then it got all tight and everything, and the skin got tight, because it was, like, literally dead, because I got fried like a fucking lobster, but anyway, besides that, so I, you know, I'm fairly, you know, not sun tolerant. My arms and, you know, my face and stuff, you know, that that's always going to be fine. Because, well, it's used to it. But other than that, let me tell you what. Okay. No, I want to turn that off. Thank you. But other than that, you know, so she wants to go down to Hawaii or up over whatever to Montana. And I was like, cool, you know, we could, we could do that. That would be fun. But I know as soon as I say, oh, yeah, let's go do it, I know for a fact, for a fact, that she will sit there and complain because, I, well, she's like, you're driving. I don't want to drive. This lady don't like driving, period. I'm like, this person does not drive at all, no matter what. She, she doesn't drive. She doesn't do nothing, okay? I drive, which is fine, because I can't ride with people anyway. But, yeah. So she drives, or, no. Yeah, she drives to work and back. That's it, you know. And, and she works literally, I shit you not. She drives not even a mile and a half away. Maybe two. Maybe two. And it's like, you complain that you drive over a mile to work. And you're complaining about that. I drive, you know, it for, depends on the day, really. But I can drive up to eh, about 400 miles a day. Maybe maybe a little less than that. And from 300 to 500 a day, which, which is fine. You know, it's, it's what I chose to do with my career, so I can't complain. But anyway, besides the point. So I know that if I go to Hawaii... Then I'll be driving everywhere. I know if I go to Montana, I'll be driving everywhere. Oh, and especially if we go to Shasta, I'll be driving there too. Don't you worry. That's 73%. I know it's only going to take about 26%, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to risk it because I know this gold is absolute trash, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to risk nothing. I don't even know. So if we if we look it up, it all pauses. So this one here has 
a quarter of an ounce of gold. So we're definitely not in the money maker, let me tell you. Not anymore. So we need to pick this up, set that up over there, put that one in there, and there we go. We should be fine. And this is all the dirt, and we just barely got 10 ounces. Okay, now we have 10 ounces. <laughs> so we need to pick this up. 27, that's a little bit lower than what I'd like to say. Oh, 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 pick up all my sticks. I mean, we're still... We're still doing all right. I almost hit the E button. So in this game, when you play it on computer, you have two choices. You can play it on the controller, or you can play it on the keyboard. Well, I play the machinery aspect of it. I play with the controller because it's easier, less buttons you got to remember, because it's pretty much the same thing. But on this aspect, I use the mouse and keyboard because it's easier. And it's, it's easier to, you know, pick and say where you want to go everywhere. But anyway, that's besides the point. I don't know why that box is gray. I thought I put all the things back, but apparently I didn't. Uh, let's see. Almost ready. But yeah, so I don't really know what we're doing. I mean, listening to myself bitch and moan about where we're going to take a vacation is kind of ridiculous. Not gonna lie. I'm not trying to brag or anything. I'm really not. I'm just explaining the reasoning behind what I'm trying to say. But anyway, like I said, I don't know if we're going to Shasta, Montana, Hawaii, anything. I have no clue. But because, I mean, where would you go? So if you had the choice between Shasta on a houseboat for a week, well, now, granted, with all of my family, which I told you a little bit about it. I mean, it's, I mean, they're not absolutely terrible. They're just not great. My sister-in-law, my brother, and everybody else agrees. Okay. They're not terrible. They're just really not great. So let's see. Let's put that here. Let's put that here. So if you had the choice, would you go 39 ounces? Honestly, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. But if you had the choice, would you go to... Hawaii with, um, you know, your beautiful fiance. You know, I have to say that in case she she watches it. You know, I don't know if she watches my videos, but if she does, I gotta say she's beautiful, which she really is. I mean, I ain't even gonna lie. I mean, she's real. She's super beautiful, especially when she doesn't yell at me for everything. You know, like I even vacuumed today, and uh, you know, hopefully. Hopefully, she won't yell at me. It's like, I told you to vacuum four days in a row. You know, whatever brownie points I did make, I lost right there. But that's, you know, all you younger fellers, you know, I'm, I'm starting to realize a trend here. You know, like everybody that's, you know, older, that's been married and everything else, uh, will say, Good luck, because you ain't ever going to make a woman happy. Well, that is for sure, okay? Like, I have done absolutely everything in my power to make this woman happy, and she is never happy, okay? Never happy. I've I've tried everything. I, I don't know what the hell what the hell she expects from me. Because, I mean, I can I can clean up the whole daggum house, and she will literally come home and find something to bitch about. That's just the way it is. And supposedly, so does my brother's wife, but I'm not for sure. I mean, I, like I said, I mean, I talk to my brother, but I don't necessarily talk to my brother all the time. No, I need the hose. No, I, I need, I need the hose. Give me the hose. Thank you. I gotta figure out where that bucket went. There it is. And now I need to put the thingamajigger back on. But yeah, so they're just never happy. I, I don't know why, but I mean, now of course, you know, she's not terrible. I mean, she has her moments, but she's not terrible. I mean, there's some times where I, she actually comes home and she's happy. But if one person pisses her off at her work, Oh, hell no. I mean, she, I get to hear everything. And if I open my mouth, 
all of it gets directed to me on how I'm so terrible. And I was like, okay, well, I, I see where this is going, okay? You're not happy, so therefore I'm not happy. You know, happy wife, happy life. You know, that that's the that's the name of the game. <laughs> ah, that's funny. See, that that is actually the name of the game if she was ever happy in the first place. But anyway, like I said, she's not that bad. But uh yeah, so if you had the choice, Shasta, Hawaii, which is like Honolulu area, you know, if I ever went to Hawaii, I would definitely go to uh no matter what, I would go to Pearl Harbor, which I don't necessarily know what island that is actually on. But I'd figure it out. Well, I don't know why I did that first. Uh, wait, if I wanted to upgrade, what did I, I want to do, I think it's that one. I think it's that one. Or what is this one? What is it? Uh, no, gold loss is definitely what I want to do. So I'm going to jump back in the truck and fast travel to the mine, or the, uh, the factory, the magnetite factory, to do that. But anyway, like I've been trying to say for like 20 minutes now, I swear, if you had the choice, would you go to Hawaii, Shasta, or Montana? Montana would be, you know, like Yellowstone, uh, stuff like that, you know, like Bozeman, Missoula, so on and so forth. So, like, stuff like that, you know. So what would you, where, where would you go? Let me know in the comments. That's just water. That was lovely water. You know, we wanted to clean out the trailer. I don't know why there was a full bucket of water in there. Okay, and that one was silent. So, yeah, we just, we're just doing a whole bunch of stuff. Why didn't I get any magnetite? What the fuck? I didn't get no magnetite. Um. That's bullshit. Okay. Um. Well, that kind of sucks. That That's weird. I never had that happen before, though. Might have to move it. I don't know. But, yeah, I never had that happen before. And it... it Still not the same, but because it auto saved, I lost it no matter what. So I mean, it's not even worth exiting out and or you know, exiting out and doing it again. Ah, boy. Okay. Well, let's just melt the gold. It's gonna cost us. How much does this thing cost? Thirty. So four thousand, but you lose four ounces of gold, so you lose four thousand. So it ultimately costs eight thousand dollars to do this. And, of course, I always fast-forward it because I don't want to sit here all day. But, yeah, where would you want to go? Shasta, Hawaii, or Montana? Now, with Shasta, even though it's beautiful at Lake Shasta, you have to deal with the family. But in Montana, you have to deal with your bitch and wife. And so is Hawaii. And you can't necessarily leave either because if you leave, then she yells at you for that. Oh, you left me. Oh, I got, I got lost. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would never leave my wife twice. You know, I'd never leave her twice. I mean, maybe once. I mean, got to see what would happen. Okay, I'm trying to figure it out. So, the way I get my screenshots here is basically you just sit in here. You try to figure out. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. There we go. And then move the buckets out of the way, because you can always move them. There we go. Smelt the rest of it. Might as well. Yes, Michael, I'm smelting my gold. I know he 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 will be the one that will get on here and be like, I told you not to do it. Well, I'm sorry. Okay? I need some gold. Because I need gold, because I need money, and I need money because I have a giant rent bill I gotta pay. I don't have a loan bill. I do not have a loan bill. But I do have a giant, giant, giant doohickey and uh, rent bill. Uh, let's, so let's go back into here and, of course, slow it back down. I only do that for, you know, I want to have as much time as I can. 
But here, let's see, 76, 76, and 11. And it's actually really nice that uh, you can see. Oh, I hide it. Uh, booyah. Deal. Okay, let's go to the bank. And actually, what's really cool about it is, is that I can just go back to here, travel, and then settle it at my, my camp. That's what's really nice about it. So I don't have to spend any more time than I have to down here. And, of course, my gold's gone. Uh, hopefully that didn't lag out because that took a long time. <laughs> long time to get. So we'll see if that actually works out or not. I mean, I've done it before, but I never had it on the roof of the truck. Yeah, let's see. Uh... Old Glen. So see, look, if you have a loan, I don't have a loan. No loan. But how much can I take, anyway? Oh, we could take a lot. Yeah, yeah. And, and to make it even, you know, worth anything, daily payment, $138,000. 84000 dollars Yeah, so we're never gonna do that. The, the, the gold bars are definitely low. 90000 $180,000, So, we should be good on the gold aspect again. But with that being said, like I said, let me know in the comments below where you would go if you had that option. Or, where would, where would you go, okay, if you had the option to go, and then where is your dream vacation? And I ask that because, honestly... Before we go out, get out of here, my dream vacation has always and probably always will be if we can go to Normandy, France, and follow the World War II European tour, or European theater is what they would call it, technically. And that would be my dream vacation. Take like a month, fly out there, and literally explore the whole place. That, I feel, would be absolutely remarkable. I, uh, I love World War II history. I, I love history in general, to be honest with you. Uh, that is uh, pretty much where I nerd out, you know, a little bit. I don't know all of it. I definitely don't. So I'm not like a... I don't try to fight people on it. Just because there's no reason for me to do it. Because I don't know a whole lot. So if I don't know anything, I don't fight you. But anyway, besides all that, where would you guys go if you had the choice... Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, with all that being said, thank you all so very much. What did I do? What did I do? What does F9 do? Oh. What the hell? What the hell? What? What happened? Okay. So we might have to... I might have to do a little bit off camera. And do exactly what I just did. But with that being said... Okay, my truck starts alone. Okay. So yeah, I gotta do all that again. Not a big deal. Uh, but anyway... Thank you all so very much for uh, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.